Alrighty guys, welcome back to some more custom zombies here on World at War, where today I'm playing a map called Town. And yes, this is on World at War. This is not on Black Ops 2 Zombies. This is on Call of Duty World at War. So yeah, this uh, map is obviously from Black Ops 2, but it was like remade for World at War. And it's added some new stuff in it. It's got like Electric Cherry in it. It's got Double Tap 2.0. And it just basically looks exactly like town, which it looks pretty dang awesome as well. He did a good job on it. So 750 for that door, uh, thousand for that door. Is speed cooler in here? Speed cooler is in there. Nice. So got some windows over here. I'm guessing jugs going to be up top. Uh, 750. Okay. So yep. We'll just be playing it just like we do on town. Open it up jug and get jug straight away. I assume there's no power switch just like in town. Uh, is there an M14 back here? Yes, there is. So it seems like it's pretty much exactly the same. Except this is different. I don't remember the buzz being in town. Survival. So that's definitely different. Okay. Wait, do we need power? Yes, we do. Okay, so we need to find the power switch first. Not exactly sure where the power switch would be at. But we'll find it. Pack a punch right there as well. And I'm guessing double tap is going to be back there. And the box is in the bore. So I need to pay 750 to open up to the box straight away. I'm guessing this is going to have all the Black Ops 2 weapons in it. Cannot wait to try out some of them in World at War. Come on, spawn in zombies. It seems like the he got the spawns exactly the same as well. It seems like they spawn in the exact same places that they do on the survival map. Which is awesome. I may have to buy the M14. I only got 1490 points. Wow. Is the point system different on this map or something? Because it seems like I'm not getting a lot of points. Yeah, I'm only getting 10 points for a kill. Wait, that time I got 60. Need to round up some rounds. That time I did not. So, seems like not every zombie will give you points for a kill. That's a bit strange. It seems like it's the guys on fire that does not give you the 60 points. Because it seems like whenever I kill the guys on fire, they do not give me the points for the kill but if I kill the guys who are not on fire I do get the points so that kind of sucks that definitely kind of sucks so the fire zombies would not give me points for the kill oh power nice and this is the workbench where you build the jet gun on transit obviously oh the jet gun such a terrible weapon and that's Bowie Knife. I wish it was Garvin Knuckles instead, but oh well. Oh well. So yeah, how are your guys' weeks been going? Week been going. You guys have school yet? I know a lot of people still have school for some reason. I mean, I'm obviously graduated, so yeah, I don't have school ever again, but... The people who, the kids who go to school around my area, they got out like May the 19th, I think. It was sometime, it was towards the middle of May. Or kind of leaning towards the end of May is when they got out. But I know some people are still in school, which, which it must suck to still be in school. Would this be in the middle of June now? Surely most of you guys are fixing to get out of school or have already gotten out of school. But it does suck if you guys are still in school. Oh, monkeys. Nice. But yeah, people around, kids around my area got out May something. May the 19th, 20th, somewhere along there. So we got the power turned on, so now we can go get Jug. Once we open up to the, uh, the old house thingy with Bob. 
And this is obviously blocked off. Oh crap. I'm catching on fire though. So this is a pretty cool remake. It looks just like it does in Black Ops 2, which is amazing. I mean, this is what, like a seven-year-old game now? And Black Ops 2 is a three-year-old game? And they can still make maps that look just the same as a three-year-old game on a seven-year-old game? It blows my mind how people do this. Absolutely blows my mind. I mean, like that four map I played the other day. That looked just like it did in Black Ops 2 Survival as well. It looked very much the same. I don't think I noticed like any differences in the Survival map from BO2 and the Survival 4 map from BO2 and that map. I don't see any differences in this as well. It does kind of suck how you don't get any points if they're on fire for the kill. That does kind of suck, but oh well. Not too big of an issue, I guess. It will take longer to build up points. I don't believe this map has a Bible in it either, so... Guess we'll just survive it till we die. Try out some BO2 weapons. Okay, I still don't got enough for Jug. Maybe those... Those points for not getting... For not killing the zombies while they're on fire... Getting no points from that. Maybe that will actually be worse. It will take me a lot longer to build up points. Because obviously most of the zombies are going to be on fire. So that means most of the zombies I will not get the 10 points. Do they jump off the roof? I assume they do. Everything else is the same. Oh, max ammo. Nice. Okay, this hammer's pretty good though. I like it. It does have the annoying recoil like it does in Black Ops 2, which is good. That's what I hate about Black Ops 2, how they added so much recoil to the guns in Zombies. It was like a useless thing to do. And it used to not be like that either. It, I believe they updated that to add the recoil right before Die Rise came out for the PC. Which definitely sucked. Okay. I nearly got enough for Jug, but I still gotta open up another door to get to it. Nice. Okay, maybe... I may be able to get Jug this round, hopefully. Hopefully. But yeah, let's talk about E3 now. You guys been watching the press conferences for E3? Yesterday, well, technically Monday, as at the time of you watching this, but yesterday for me, since I'm recording this on Tuesday, but Activision and Treyarch dropped a huge, huge bomb trail yesterday. I know, I know that most of you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, yesterday was the Microsoft and the Sony press conferences, and Treyarch was not at the Microsoft press conference like like they usually are because usually of course Activision and Xbox had this deal well Xbox gets DLC for like I don't know when it exactly started I believe it happened around COD 4 and um, they were not at the Activision or they're not at Microsoft's press conference like they usually are but they was at Sony's press conference and they announced last night at the end of the Sony's press conference that Activision has now signed a contract with Sony to bring the DLC a month early before PC and Xbox 360. That's right, if you guys were not well, Activision is now, or Pr Sony, PlayStation platforms, PS3 and PS4 is now going to begin the DLC before Xbox and PC. I know most of you Xbox guys are disappointed in that. Which I figured, since they was not at the Xbox press conference, that can only mean one of two things. Uh, that could mean that either P Play PlayStation and Sony would get the uh, DLC a month early instead of Xbox this time. 
or that could mean that nobody will get all the access and everybody will get it at the same time which is what I was hoping for to happen cuz you guys know me now by now if you guys are new subscribers you guys probably don't know this but I am mostly a PC user I have all my card on PC I play PC I do not own a console and I really did not want to buy a next-gen console because they are just so expensive now and I really did not want to buy an Xbox 360 I mean an Xbox one or a PS4 but now I'm kind of forced to have to buy a PS4 I know some of you guys were like well why don't you just wait like you like you usually do because I was hoping the reason why I was hoping for nobody to get the early DLC and everybody to get at the same time is because I, being a Zombies YouTuber, you like have to cover the DLC as soon as it comes out. If you wait a month or whatever, the DLC will be old by then and nobody will want to watch your videos while you're covering it a month late. So I wanted to cover the DLC as soon as it gets released. Now, in order to do that, I'll have to buy a PS4 to cover the DLC once it gets released. So, I don't know if I'm going to do that yet. I have not decided. I mean, I kind of do not want to buy a PS4 just for that one game. And I kind of cannot afford a PS4 at the moment. I'm kind of broke, so I cannot afford a PS4. So, that definitely sucks. I don't know what I'm planning on doing. If I do buy a PS4, I'm definitely going to be covering the DLC. But don't worry, if I do not buy a PS4, I'll still be getting the DLC. I still be getting the game on PC regardless. And we'll be making videos and doing challenges and first attempts and all that good stuff. Once the DLC finally releases on PC. Just like I did for BO2. But I started doing YouTube a little bit like... I believe I started doing YouTube once Marvity Dead came out. Is when I really started doing YouTube a lot. I think I made my channel like around Die Rise time for PC. But I did start uploading videos and stuff till Mob of the Dead came out. So I was new to YouTube at the time. So I didn't really care about covering the DLC first. But now that I'm starting to do YouTube a lot. Then I really, I really was hoping to cover the DLC. Now, if I do not get a PS4, I'll definitely be covering the launch maps. However many maps get released on launch date on November 6th for Black Ops 3, I'll be covering all those, throwing off the new perks, the new weapons, doing first attempts, doing challenges, all that good stuff. And then once the DLC starts pumping out, I'll be doing it a month later. I probably won't be covering like the new perks and the new weapons and stuff. But I'll definitely be doing my first attempt as well as a bunch of challenges once it gets released for PC. But, wait, why do I hear the Mob of the Dead sound? That was random, I just heard like a Mob of the Dead sound. Don't know what's going on with that, but yeah. Like I was saying that I will be covering the game as soon as it releases on launch date. And then I'll decide if I want to get PS4. Or if I don't, I'll still be doing challenges and first attempts and stuff once the DLC finally releases for PC. It definitely sucks though. And the way they're talking, this is going to be like a seven year contract just like, just like Xbox had. So from BO3 onwards, PC, I mean PS3 will be getting, PS3 and PS4 will be getting the DLC early. Before Xbox and PC users get it. And then once the 7 year contract is up. I don't know what they're planning on doing. Whether they finally go. To where everybody will get DLC same time. Or if Xbox will get the contract back. Or if Playstation will get the contract back. Oh I think I got the execution up from the box. And that had to drop down. So it's good I got it now. Again. Oh Olympia no thanks. But yeah, that really does suck about the P PS3 getting PS3 and PS4 getting the other DLC. But it is what it is. I mean, Activision just wants money, so it makes sense for them to go with the company that gives them more money. 
I know a lot of Xbox users is going to be switching to PlayStation. But what I'm kind of wondering is a lot of the competitive Call of Duty players played on Xbox and they had all their like LAN events and stuff on Xbox. So are they going to switch to PS4 now to have the LAN events or what's going to happen with that? I guess we'll have to wait and see once Black Ops 3 releases or once they talk about some more of those. I guess we'll find out then uh, is all the competitive Call of Duty players going to go to Xbox? I mean, going to go to PS4 or are they going to stick with the Xbox? Okay, so I got speed color now, which is good. I do got double tap back here. I need to buy at some point. Wait, what? That's the Mob of the Dead playing. I heard the Mob of the Dead music earlier as well. Double tap, nice. It's not the double tap 2.0 machine, but I assume it's double tap 2.0. Just like in Black Ops 2 Town. Yeah, wait. Okay, so this is now open. Okay. Did they spawn back here? I mean, you got to open this with a grenade on on uh, transit. Whenever you come to town, you gotta open it with a grenade and then you can put money in the bank. But it's automatically open on this map. 